Hello, hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So, I am doing something fun and exciting with my friend Kimmy. So she also has her own YouTube channel and she does a lot of beautiful makeup looks, she does hauls, she does a variety of things. Definitely go check her out, I will leave a link in her bio down below. But tomorrow we're doing a makeup face swap. So I'm going to bring a bunch of products for her. She's going to basically pick out my full face of makeup and I'm going to do the same for her tomorrow. So I am really excited to do that, I cannot wait. And on my channel, what I'm going to do is show you guys what I'm packing for her and she'll do the same. I'll show you guys what she packed for me as well. And then you guys can see us getting ready together on her channel. So I'm going to start packing and I'm going to put everything in this cute little Betsy Johnson bag. It's so cute. It came in a set for anyone who's wondering. It came with another little bag that came in this clear bag. It was so cute. Um, TJ Maxx. Betsy Johnson will always be at TJ Maxx for you guys. So I'm going to start packing um, and I'm just going to work with my thought process here and how I get ready in the morning. So I'm going to start her off with the hyaluronic acid and I'm going to just include my moisturizer that I use when I first start and then I actually dip into brows. So I've kind of changed my process and the way that I use things. So I do brows next. She already has the Anastasia brow freeze, but I'm going to bring that. And what I really want her to try out is this um, brow microfilling pen by Benefit. It's amazing. It is amazing. I'm pretty sure I'll be posting this video after I do the five ways to do your brows. I think it turned into six ways to do your brows. But I use this brow pencil pen and I have it on right now too. Love it. Um, but if you guys are interested in checking out five or six ways to do your brows differently, different styles, different products, definitely go check that out on my channel. And then I do use just to fill in the blanks a little bit the pencil on the Tarte Sketch and Set. So I always use the Louise eyeshadow base. So I'm going to pack that. I really selfishly for eyeshadow wanted her to try out my Blue Blood palette by Jeffree Star because it has such a beautiful array of kind of like blues and teals like ocean colors. Gorgeous palette. But I felt that was selfish. That's just like me wanting to see her creative genius do something with this palette. But what I think she would like most to kind of try out is something that's a little bit more purpley. So I am going to take Still by Jeffree Star the Bloodlust palette with me. Oh, it's got a gorgeous, oh, gorgeous set of purples and pinks in it, a little bit of red. And I really think that she would create something beautiful with this. So I'm going to bring it with me. And I'm also going to bring the Blood Money palette. So a little bit of a Jeffree Star collector here. But I think she would create something beautiful with these two together. I think a green and purpley look would be awesome. My cat's knocking stuff down. <laughs> so next I will be dipping into my foundation. So normally, and what I was planning on bringing originally, is the Tarte Found Sealer. Love this to death. Um, it's the shade 16N. Fun fact for you guys, hopefully this has changed by the time I'm posting this video, but 16N specifically is sold out in Sephora stores, Ulta, online for both of those. It's just, you can't get it right now. Um, I'm almost out, so I had to pick up something else. I didn't want to run out. And I found something that kind of is similar. It gave the same texture I tried it at the store, um, is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydro Maniac tinted glow hydrator so it is a um tinted glow like a, a tinted it's technically a tinted moisturizer but it gives the same effect as this one i was shocked at how both of these kind of go on very effortlessly they give a good coverage but they're not thick so they feel really lightweight um, I would say this one almost feels a little bit more uh, lightweight, but I think it's because this one has a little bit more of a gooey consistency to it, which also keeps the kind of like glow effect on it. So it's a little bit more dewy maybe, um, but I've liked it. I've only used it for two days and I think that Kimmy will really like trying this one. So I'm bringing that. I'm bringing my Tarte Color Corrector um, in this shade Light Medium. This is Life. 
And then I'm also bringing um, the Rare Beauty concealer in the shade 130N. So I do use a slightly lighter one than Kimmy. I'm kind of curious to see how this one goes on with her. Um, goes on her skin. And um, she actually is the one that introduced me to these. So I know she'll love using this product. I got a little ahead of myself. So for primers, I'm bringing the Milani Supercharged Dewy Primer. This stuff works so well and it smells so good. It's got like an orangey citrus smell to it. And then the Pore Professional, um, the Pearly Primer. I use that on my, oh, I dropped it. I use that on my nose. And then me and Kimmy, I know we both really love our creams. So I'm gonna have her try for contouring, be pretty fresh. This is actually concealer in the shade Dark 180N. I have just been using it because I haven't really found a contouring or bronzer that I love that's liquid. Um, usually they're a little bit more creamy instead of being a liquid like this one is. So I just bought concealer that's darker and use it on kind of like the sides. So I'm bringing that to have her try it out the same way I do. So I actually bought Kimmy the Peach Milani Supercharged Cheek and Lip Multi Stick um, a few weeks ago. So she already has this, but I. I love it so much. So I'm gonna bring the um, Peach Thrill and then also Spice Jolt. So she has Peach Thrill, but she does not have Spice Jolt. So I'm gonna have her try that because if she does go with more of a green look, this one's a little bit more neutralized, a little bit of a darker brownish pink kind of, a little bit of a darker one. So I'm gonna have, bring both of those, let her try out what she wants. I'm gonna have her use the Jeffree Star Lavender Snow. So this is a gorgeous, like lavendery um, highlight. And then I also have the Becca, this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Powder in Prismatic Amethyst. It is stunning. So it's a lot more of like a kind of like, um, it reminds me of like galaxy words today, words every day, it's a challenge. Um, just gives like a galactic glow to it. I'll put it that way. Um, and then to top it off, I'm going to have her try the Morphe Gloss Stick Maddie X Ziegler. This is the life. This is like the most perfect dewy finish that you can ask for on your face. And on top of that, I also forgot this too, but the other thing that makes my face so gorgeous and dewy is the Willetta Skin Food. Kimmy actually got this for me. Um, and she uses it, I think, every day too. This is the perfect moisturizer that just, it just, if you have dry skin, you need this. I am serious. Do not wait to buy it. Put this in your cart. It ha they have it on Amazon. I will give you guys links of everything down below. Get this. If you have dry skin, this is a necessity. Do not wait a day longer. Buy it. It's amazing. And it's, it just kind of, hydrates your day it just it's like a drink of water like it just keeps your face hydrated and wonderful all day doesn't mess with your primers doesn't mess with your foundation it just sinks into your face perfectly so bring that Shirley has that um and then to top it off I'm just going to bring the Morphe setting spray it's the only thing that I enjoy as far as setting sprays go right now just I love the way that it comes out of the bottle and the continuous spray I hope in the future Morphe make this with scents that would be amazing like lavender or kind of like a peachy or citrusy scent you would have me buying this in every scent that you make so think about it so my bag is packed for kimmy i have everything ready to go for tomorrow um really excited to see how this turns out so if you want to check it out on her channel kind of like our get ready with us process um i will link her channel down below so you guys can watch that. Okay, so I totally spaced it, but I definitely picked out some uh, lip colors for Kimmy for the video. Um, so I have here first is Jeffree Star Deceased. So it's kind of just a nice, it's like a nudie purple, like a nudie lilac, but it's definitely a little bit dark. So I didn't want to just make her only use this one as an option. I have um, Celebrity Skin which is definitely a lot better of a nude, especially if she's going to be adding more green to her look. 
I have the Buxom um, Full On Lip Polish in the shade Sugar. Um, and then I have a Kat Von D in, is this Bow and Arrow? Yeah, this is Bow and Arrow. So again, pretty nude one. And then this one is a kind of more of a pinky nude by Tarte. Um, it's the Tartiest tartiest lip paint and I don't know the name of it I don't think it oh just kidding birthday suit there we go um, so that's the options likely I'm thinking that she'll use celebrity skin probably this one since it's more pink from Tarte and then this buxom lip polish because I know she likes lip gloss so that's what I'm picturing but I'm gonna give her some options in case she does go for more of a purple look I wanted to give her some um, nudie purpley type options, lilac kind of options, so. And yeah, from here I'm just going to throw it on over to Kimmy so you guys can see what she picked out for me. Hey guys, it's Kimmy. I'm kind of coming at you in an awkward angle right now. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be picking out for Jamie to use when we kind of swap our makeup bag. I don't know what we're calling it yet. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing now. That's why you're kind of faced this way. Please pardon how dirty my mirror is and my hair. I have a hair mask in. We're going to do a little self care tonight before she comes over tomorrow. So let's get started. So first off, we're going to kind of come over here to this section of my makeup where I've got kind of my base products. So I want her to try this little concoction of the Wellada Skin Food and the Elemis Superfood. These two mixed together have been my absolute go-to recently. Just juicing up the skin and making it so hydrated and glowy. It's fabulous. I actually got this for her and she's been loving it. So we're gonna have her go ahead and use those. And then for foundation, I have a, another, another concoction I want her to try. And that is gonna be the Guerlain Essential Natural Glow Foundation mixed with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. Now, these two combined make the most lovely, luxurious feeling base for your skin and it just looks perfect so you've got like the perfecting kind of foundation here and then just to kind of lighten it up and make it just that much more hydrating and dewy with this they're beautiful together i can't wait for her to try those and then for concealer i only have the one concealer right now which is the rare beauty concealer which she does have her own so we'll just go ahead and have her use that and then to set her concealer and her face, I'm gonna go ahead and actually keep this out. We're going to have her use the Kosas Cloud Set. Now, this is a hydrating, excuse me, hydrating powder, almost a concealer. It's fabulous, super finely milled, and just sets your face without removing any of the glow which we don't want to get rid of that, right? We always want to be glowy and dewy. So it's beautiful. We're going to have her use that for like a bronzer contour thing over here. I've got the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush. And this is in the shade Nutcracker. This is a beautiful, super creamy liquid product. You can use this all over your face, on your eyes, on your cheeks, on your lips. It's beautiful. It blends out like a dream and I'm really excited to see her try it. I think she's really going to like it. Oh, I forgot. Underneath her foundation, I actually want her to use the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I think she's going to die over this. I think she's absolutely going to love it. I think she uses something similar. So I think she'll really, really love this. I want her to put this underneath her foundation. And then for blush, I'm going to have her use the um, M Cosmetics Serum Blush. This is in the shade Venetian Rose. Again, it's just glowy and dewy and stunning. All the things we love here. 
I think she's going to adore this. And it's a neutral kind of color, so it'll go with any eye look that we go with. And then we're gonna leave the highlighter at that because we already have this underneath and then this on top and then all this other glowy, dewy gorgeousness. I think we can leave it at that. So for eyes, I think she's gonna get really excited. I want her to use the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Eyeshadow Palette. Look at this, you guys. Look at all these gorgeous shades. I'm just excited to see what she comes up with this. I kind of want her to use this purple shade because it's stunning. Um, but I'll let her kind of be creative with it. And then to add any neutrals she might need, I've got another Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. This is the Mothership 5. No, Mothership 7. I don't even know. I don't read Roman numerals. Um, but it's the one that has like the browns and the bronzes and stuff like that. That way she has some neutral options if she needs. I'm gonna let her do her own brows um, because again, I just have been using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. That's all I have. I don't even have a brow pencil or anything like that. She's doing a whole video on different ways to do your brows, which you guys should totally check out. It probably will be up before this one. So a little plug to her video there, um, but I'll let her do whatever she wants to with her brows. And I'm sure she'll use the brow freeze in some capacity. <laughs> I'm going to give her an eyeliner to use. Just because there's some fun pinks and purples in this palette, I think adding this pink eyeliner would be fun. This is the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Eyeliner in the shade Fluffy. It's just a beautiful pink that I think will complement um, any look she creates here. Okay, yeah, all right, cool. For lips, I have a little lip combo I'm gonna have her use. First is the NYX um, Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Natural. It's a beautiful kind of nudie, beigey pink. And then for lipstick, I have the Pat McGrath Lipstick in Nude Venus. This is the Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine. So it's kind of like a shiny lipstick, lip balm, kind of like that. It's beautiful. Again, kind of that pinky nude that I think will just complement the eyeshadow palette wonderfully. And then to top it off, the ColourPop So Juicy Lip Gloss in the shade Diamond. No, Princess Cut. <laughs> Something to do with the diamond. So I think it'll just be absolutely stunning. I think she's going to love it. I'm really, really excited to see what she comes up with here. And again, we're gonna have, we're gonna choose our own uh, mascaras because using other people's mascaras is just asking for a sty. <laughs> don't know if you guys have had a sty before, but those suck. Um, and I don't want to inflict that on either of us. The last thing I'm gonna have her use is the Pretty Fresh, ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. This is a gorgeous setting mist just to, you know, juice up the skin one more time before you set it for the day. And it smells like coconuts and it's just glorious. I love using this throughout the day too, because I live in Utah and it's super dry here. Whenever my face is just feeling super tight and parched, I love just spraying this on top of my skin just to give it a little drink of water. I love it, it's beautiful. So that's everything that I've picked out for my dear friend, I'm so excited to film this. I can't wait to see what she's picked out for me. And yeah, that's all I got. I'm really excited. We'll see you guys over on my channel for um, the video where we're putting on the makeup on our ourselves. Or switching makeup and putting on the makeup that we picked out for each other. <laughs> I don't know why I can't figure out how to say that. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys there. Bye.